Hi, I'm Jeff Fondersman of Southwest Chamber Music, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the concerts we have coming up celebrating the music of Japan's greatest composer, Toru Takamitsu. Um, we're beginning with a program at the Armory Center, Center for the Arts that blends Takamitsu with the music of Bach and Telemann, and then we will proceed to some all Takamitsu concerts that will celebrate the 10th anniversary of our friends at the Shumei Arts uh, Council here in Pasadena, and then we'll perform again at the Colburn School. One of the things that inspires me about Toru Takamitsu is that he really is the bridge between the ideas of Asia and the West, and he was always very comfortable with with the contradictions of that um, uh, 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 relationship. So one of the reasons that we're doing this is that in particular with the Shumei Arts Council, we're having a wonderful uh, festival uh, of uh, events that will feature films on Takamitsu. Takamitsu's nephew is coming to the Shumei Arts uh, Fellowship, so you can check them out on the website to see what all those events are. And then we'll be playing a lot of uh, works from Takamitsu's Waterscape series. I think one of the things that makes Takamitsu so compelling is that he moves away from the high modernism of the 50s and 60s and goes towards what he called the sea of tonality. So there's always a rather mysterious uh, tonal arch behind his music that I think is becomes very hypnotic. Sometimes the other thing I'd like to encourage you uh, to uh, do in terms of coming to these concerts is that listening to Takamitsu on a CD really is not as rewarding as hearing the resonance of the instruments in a live concert space. One of the pieces we're playing, Waterways, uses two harps and two vibraphones and piano, violin, cello, and clarinet. And the way the piece resonates never really works for me when I listen to it on headphones or on my iPhone or um, uh, on my speakers at home. You really do need a live concert, which is the, one of the other big reasons we do these things. I think that uh, if you take a look at all of the Takamitsu events we're doing, you'll see that uh, you could come away from this with a real immersion in his music. It's, it's rare to go to an all Takamitsu concert. It's very, very quiet music. Takamitsu used to say that the Japanese don't understand the concept of allegro. And I think in, for him, he was absolutely right. The music is rarely fast, but it's always bold and dramatic. In particular, at the Shumei Arts Council uh, on Saturday, uh, I believe it's April 25th, where there's going to be a wonderful panel uh, cura uh, uh, moderated by Martin Perlick, and it will include Peter Greeley, who uh, produced a tremendous DVD on Takamitsu's film music. Most of you probably know that Takamitsu wrote at least 90 film scores, including uh, some rather famous ones for Akira Kurosawa. So, also you might be able to meet Takamitsu's nephew who's coming. So, uh, all in all, check out our Takamitsu events uh, for April and May, and I hope to see you at the concerts.